the book will out will be complete will be uh, com- will be completed in my own bedroom <laughs> so the whole thing is <laughs> in my room you might not believe me it might be in my room but uh, the boy makes it out I'm working out it will be in my room my closet will fit have about that much inch that size and the wardrobe uh, about that much that size I think I think about that <laughs> Two, two months and three days of tidying up the space and able to put it here. And it's finally come down to this I've been waiting for. <laughs> so I just need to uh, take that off and put the table in the room. And then uh, lay that on the um, lay back on it again. Of course, I want to. I'll be carrying making this in my. Uh, Go make it in my room. Obviously, when I turn those here suspicions, this is the way we're staying, in my room. Because this is the last piece, this is. I like to see in my room. Uh, exactly where it's going. Right, well, this will be interesting. And these, just let you know, these. Oh, these, we. You will be like that, so you add them as a. Colours, obviously, when I cut, obviously, put them to shape. A bit dangerous at the moment. Or we can have it on the. I like to have this one side like that, so you can actually put the paper. I'm gonna put my pictures on this. <laughs> put it on here instead. So well, obviously when I was making a stage, which I'm still doing, obviously I was taking pictures as I uh, build along. Two months or even longer, actually. I've been waiting, to, been waiting for this very moment. Oh, I finally got here indeed. Right, that's for uh, grass. That's the some of the trees which should be uh, going on it here and there. And. Uh, stuff for a moment all the things on the table I need to uh, take the actual layer off the table so we can really locate the table more look sections. Well, building a stage, I say. Like that. That's part of Herne Hill. That's only one piece of it. Need to uh, sort out the barrister soon. Having this piece, wouldn't it? Yeah, sort of the barrister will try. <laughs> Two long months of waiting. <laughs> so it's, I know it's going to be a big job sorting out know, that room to get to this point. Yes, yes, just to get to this point. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of work. Uh, got some ideas I want to use those for. Barrier, like a metal chain barrier. 
to keep the kids away from the layout during their exhibitions. That's uh, something I'm working on still. I still can't believe I built this. I built this and designed it. Well, the guy, the boss at the railway, he's the, he built the railway, but uh, <laughs> I'm the one who built the uh, that record of it. <laughs> it's more or less near exactly the same, believe me, in every way. Near exactly the same. Pardon being a bit shorter, the actual railway, the real railway itself is a straight, it goes a lot further than the layout does. It's a lot longer than the actual layout itself. <laughs> One thing as well. I'm not sure this is a very, very wise idea. God. For the moment, this is a uh, Lido. Just to shake it, the train in. And I have made this <laughs> right bit, which actually goes off to where they take the train off at the, at the place. The way I've done this, which goes, makes it go into the shed, it doesn't, doesn't actually know you that, but I've actually got a really good idea. So it goes along here, that turns. I thought this whole thing through, believe you me. Yeah, so the train goes on that, and the, the motor will be on the shed, and the, that, the train will be on that. Train will be on that. By the train, it will uh, put it up, and uh, it will take it into the shed. <laughs> yeah, the train itself, which too. The train is the main part of the railway. Believe me, the train itself, which too. <laughs> Part of Herne Hill is a uh, middle of double gauge where we sleep as the uh, fencing as part of the platform. <laughs> Some of the track and the brass needs to be uh, worked on. That's uh, something I'll be working on. Obviously, you want to get to uh, get sorted out. <laughs> um, I mean, everything else should. Uh, Let's do this bit. <laughs> I can't believe those are kits, but they are. <laughs> Amazing kits they are. They cost me £5 each. Yeah, believe me, I've got them. They cost £5 each, those two. Those trains. So I saw this. Uh, I'm using blue gauge figures. Because the rail one, is, this is based on this miniature. So. The figures had to be bigger than the railway, which it actually is, so that's why I'm using ungauge figures, because they're actually bigger, <coughs> they're bigger than the railway. <laughs> I'm going to have a little double gauge bit, which is uh, this, you can see the difference between... Uh, that's double and that's N for the uh, main layer, but for the bit at the back, which is going to be represent the uh, the extension the extension we're going to make the railway around. Basically. <laughs> Exactly what it's going to be. That is a Cornwall Society Club wagon, which I put some real coal in and glued. It's going to be really nice, really pleased with that. Two long bumps, or even longer. I've been looking forward to this very moment of doing this, moving into the room. It's just all my papers and things I need to sort it first.
trying to figure out a way to um Interesting. I mean, not a piece of that, just in bags and that, so it's not all, it's not all over the place. Obviously, need, need clear space, and it was a little bit of a scene there. This is a really, really good quality wood. Put the best wood, put some of the best wood out there you can actually get. Which I know he's on. Lemon pick, we'll try. Oh, goodness me. We'll try. Where's that coming from? Ooh. Sorry, John. He's actual. He's actual figure. Of, he's going to replicate John. He's on the boss of boss of the railway. This hasn't been cleaned in months. <laughs> hasn't been cleaned in months, this. So, I don't know. But, yep, yeah, he's John. He's the boss of the railway. At uh, Brotwell, which I volunteer at. It's kind of cool if you're making a record of, that, of, the, of the railway as you volunteer it. And it's not called me back. Probably use for the double gate for the uh, double bit, it's bigger. <laughs> That's by itself, it's very cool. Alright, great hoover time. <laughs> hoover time. for the room anyway.
Find your glass, <laughs> double that. <laughs> but you don't have much glass, so I would also be able to save that. Give <laughs> you a low on glass, but uh, I should have a lot for glass. <laughs> Well, there's five, six months of dust in here. It's been sitting here for a while. It's got the marks, those marks on, on the table because obviously that's why uh, that's caused by why I painted the side of the wood green. So uh, as you go around, did it the way around. As well as it's all pure green. I used uh, green paint for that. Of course, some of the grass here will be going on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> 